Okay class, today we're going to be playing Two Truths and a Lie. It's pretty self-explanatory. You're just going to say two things about yourself that are true and one that's not. Oh, can I, can I go first? Oh, Brooke, you're really excited. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Okay, uh, these are just off the top of my head. Um, I really like strawberries. My dad picked up crack like three years ago. It drove him insane. It tore our family apart. Then he got the death penalty for killing like a bunch of people. And uh, my birthday's in May. <laughs> oh. Um. Is, is the second one a lie? My birthday's in July. Everybody down. This is a stick up. Hey boss, this old lady isn't getting down. Take her out. But boss, she's just an old lady. I said take her out. I'm having a wonderful time. Sir, what about this kid? Take him out. Wee. Boss, what about this baby? Take him out. I'm the baby. So I ask you this, Your Honor. Why did the chicken cross the road? To get to the other side. <laughs> but that doesn't quite add up. Why would the chicken need to cross the road? It has no motive. Unless... The chicken is the killer. <laughs> Top six ways to tell your friend you're in love with them. Number one, take him for a drive. This way the setting is just you and him and the intimacy is at an all-time high. What's... Um, ask him to create something with you, whether it's a video, a TikTok, a song, any sort of creative thing will get the juices flowing. I don't, I don't, what, what's Number five, when the scene is set, it's time to make your move. Just go for it. Put all the balls on the table and just go for it. Hey, whoa, hey, Max, what are you, hey? And just like that, you're in love. Because it worked. Because it worked. All right, who took my glasses? I can't even look for them because I can't see anything. On your head. Oh. That's better. There! Stop that man! Come on, man. Who drunk the last of my Hawaiian punch? I knew something was gonna happen to this. That's why I pissed in it. Something wrong, Gary? Girlfriend hasn't talked to me in three fucking days because she's mad that I hooked up with her identical twin. They're identical twins. And I told her that. I'm like, babe, how am I supposed to tell the difference? And then she brings up the argument saying, oh, well, uh, he has a penis. I was like, shut the fuck. Hi, I'm here for the job interview. Perfect. Take a seat. Here's the situation. The police just entered the building, so we'll be in this room in about 30 seconds. So this is a one-time only job offer. See him? That's Bob. Bob's a piece of shit. That right, Bob. <laughs> F you, Bob. Why is he tied up? We don't have time for you to talk. Bob is our accountant. Bob is also my brother-in-law. He cheated on my sister, so he'll do whatever I tell him to. Here, Bob, draw a penis on your face. Bob also embezzled a million dollars from the government last year in tax fraud vis-a-vis -vis cops downstairs. Now the thing is, I need Bob. I need Bob bad. I can blackmail him to do whatever I want, so I want to keep Bob around. But I still need a fall guy. Ignore them. Eyes. Right here. Here's the job. You take the fall, you go to jail for a year. Cushy jail though, not murder jail. You play tennis, do therapy, get real good at chess, and at the end of one year, you're let out and we pay you $500,000. You got five seconds to choose. Five, four, um, three, two, I'll do it. one. Bingo. He's in here. <laughs> Did he say yes? We got a new employee. I like your initiative, kid. Welcome to Chick-fil-A. <laughs> Put the phone down slowly. This isn't gonna end well. Uh, yeah, for you. No, for you. You're not really in the position to be making those kind of statements right now, are you, buddy? And now, neither are you. Place the gun on the ground. Okay, okay. <laughs> Too easy. Not as easy as your wife. Now put the gun down. Actually, you put the gun down. On the contrary, you need to put the gun down. Surprise, it's opposite day. Oh, and don't worry about anybody placing a gun to my head. The guy behind me has arthritis in his hands. They might be a little shaky, but they still work. Seriously? Doesn't it hurt holding the gun? Indeed it does, but luckily right now I feel a hand cramp coming on, which will relieve some of my pain. Wait, what happens when you get hand cramps? Well, my whole hand seizes up and all of my fingers are forced closed. And I understand now what you're trying to tell me, my friend, but unfortunately... Oh my... All right, just read that first line for me. I... Good... Am... Yup... Scared of... What? Next line. Wow, uh, I'm not saying that. Can't read that one? I can read it, it's the N-word, I'm not gonna say it. Oh, well I guess you need glasses. Have a good day. You too. Oh, Niagara. Am I okay? It's just a scratch on your leg. Can I see? Unfortunately the leg is in another ambulance. I dying. Oh dear. Oh no. 
I saw a deer over there. Oh thank god you scared me. But yes you're dying. My okay. It's just a scratch on your leg. Can I see? Unfortunately the leg is in another ambulance. We have you surrounded. Come out with your hands up. Say please. Please. Please what? Please come out with your hands up. Pretty please. This is degrading. Just say it. Pretty please come out with your hands up. With cherries on top? Pretty please with cherries on top come out with your hands up. Say thank you. Say sorry. Sorry, sorry. Hey, boss, uh, I was just wondering, am I getting that promotion we've been talking about? Oh, Steve, I, of course, you're my best employee. Steve's definitely not getting that promotion. What? What? You, you just looked at the wall and said I wasn't getting the promotion. <laughs> no, I didn't. I totally just did that. Oh, uh, you did it again. Did what again? Okay, now you're just playing dumb and it's really pissing me off. <laughs> no, I'm not. Yes, I did. And if Steve's pissed off about this, he wouldn't want me to tell him about me eating his lunch. <laughs> what? You're the one who ate my lunch? How many other things have you not told me? Nothing. I swear, that's it. That's definitely not it. I was also the one who wrote that's what abortion is for in his truck after his son came out as a furry. You wrote that's what abortion is for in my truck? Seriously? Go ahead. Tell me something else. I guess I shouldn't tell him about how I slept with his wife, either. <laughs> My name is Jaden Williams, and I'm addicted to phone alarms. Jaden, at a very early age, developed an obsession with cell phone ringtones. Yes! Yes! Is that, is that not the best? And his father has no idea where it came from. Yeah, for a while, I thought he was retarded. I thought he was special. And since then, I've learned that he just loves ringtones. It gets a little irritating when he plays at like 4 in the morning, but you get used to it. We, we got a healthy relationship. Yes! Though, Jaden does want to stop his addiction. I try, you know. I want it to stop. And I, I don't know what caused it in the first place. And I think that that's what the journey's all about. Now, I dropped him on his head as a child. Now, I know that's it. Regardless, Jaden strives every day to make his life more ordinary and avoid this craving of his. A great example is today. I haven't listened to a ringtone all day. And I just, I feel the addiction just wearing off. Oh, that's the best one. You know what be cute? You and Craig. I mean, that shit sound kind of good. Ew, me and Craig? Hell no! Oh yeah, that shit's stupid. That shit nasty. Here's a cool little fact for you. Not only are you able to sense when somebody's staring at you, but you can also sense when they're staring at you while you're asleep. Just watch. Who are you? See, it's that easy. Alright, you get three wishes, but there's three rules. No bringing anybody back from the dead, no making anybody fall in love with you, and I can't kill nobody. Wish spiders had wings. There's four rules. What you doing? I'm trying to tell if you can see without your glasses. Give me back my glasses. You have to tell me if you can see first. Obviously, I'm looking right at you. But, but you're not. I'm not playing these games. Now you're yelling at a chair. You want to talk about this? I always like to say it's better to ask for forgiveness than to ask for permission. Hey, Phil, did you take a shit on my kitchen floor? Yeah, yeah, I did. And I'm sorry. See what I did there? Who the fuck are you talking to? <clears throat> Hello, Mr. David. Mm -hmm. McCartney. McCartney. Listen, usually I start off my interrogations by trying to intimidate my suspects, but I like you, David. We just met. I'm just going to ask you once. Did you kill Pete Richardson? No. Let me rephrase that. Have you killed Pete Richardson? No. Would you kill Pete Richardson? No. Nope. Could you kill Pete Richardson? No. Might you kill Pete Richardson? Not at all. What if you killed Pete Richardson? I don't even know how to answer uh, that. So you don't want to answer my question now? Seems like you're hiding something. Ooh, what's that? You look a little frightened. Did you kill Pete Richardson? No. Did you kill Pete Richardson? No. Did you kill Pete Richardson? No. Did you not kill Pete Richardson? Yes. Did you not not kill Pete Richardson? No. Is your name David? Yes. Did you kill Pete Richardson? Yes. W wait, no. No, no, that's not, that's not what I mean. We got it, boys. I think you'll like it here, you know. The teachers are nice, but the principal, complete idiot. Do you know who I am? Huh.
No? The principal's son. Oh, well, do you know who I am? <laughs> no. Good. <laughs> It's your problem. No problem. That's my problem. And what's the problem? I'm a problem solver. I need a problem to solve. Okay, your finances. Did you solve that? Oh, yeah. No problem. Okay, well, do you get enough sleep at yeah. night? No major insecurities? Yeah. You're happy with your family yeah. life? You're healthy? Yeah, done. I've solved all of those. Well, you've solved all your basic problems. Now you need fulfillment. But I got my fulfillment solving the basic problems. Then why aren't you fulfilled? Because I ran out of problems. Well, that's problematic. Well, probably. No, definitely. That is a problem to solve. What is? Having no problem to solve. Well, how do I solve the problem of having no problems? Well, that's not my problem. It, what's your problem? Dun, dun. Hey, Mom. Have you been crying? Don't worry, I just get like this when the seasons change and the uh, flowers pop up. Oh, look, it's the ugly stinky boy back in my garden this year. Oh, what are you gonna cry and make a TikTok about it? Hi. You guys sent this video, it means that you don't know what this is. See this? This is a door. Opens like this. And it closes like that. The next time that you decide to leave my room, shut the door. When you and your siblings are supposed to be asleep. Yo. Beep beep la poop. <laughs> <laughs> hey, shut up! You're gonna wake up, mom. <laughs> We have a flat tire. How do I tie a bow tie again? What's the fastest way to Hartford Hospital? Tell my wife I'm gonna be 30 minutes late. Tell my husband I'm not surprised. Tell my wife if she has a problem with my work schedule, she's more than welcome to get a job of her own. Tell my husband that I do just as much work as he does. Tell my wife that if watching Ellen is a job, she should get a promotion. Message from your husband. I appreciate you. Bullshit. What did he actually say? Please don't drag me into this. Siri, call my husband. Siri, ignore the call from my bitch wife. Tell my husband that he said he'd respect my choice to stay at home with our child. Tell my wife I would, but she can't even get around to washing his overalls. Did you want me to search for flower shops nearby? Ask my wife if she's fucking Jim McPherson. Tell my husband how dare he. Tell my wife that's not an answer. Is this my fault? Tell my husband that I will not answer that. Ask my wife if she's fucking Jim McPherson. Searching for a place to hide. Tell my husband he wishes it was just Jim McPherson. I don't want to. Tell him. Please don't make me. Do it. Send my wife directions to hell. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking do it. Hey, wake up! Huh? Huh? I just murdered your entire family. But but I live alone. Huh? Then who are these people in your house? There's people in my house. Well, not anymore. Dumb bitch. You could have died. You're welcome. And they did all of that for a dollar, dude. It's crazy what people will do for money, man. I know, man. Don't even think about it. Whoa, hey, hey, come on, man. That's, that's my dollar. Like hell it is. I've had my eyes on that dollar for a solid 17 seconds. 17? <laughs> Try 18 and a half. Well, it doesn't matter, okay? I have the firepower in this situation. Well, are you sure about that? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I am. Think again. <sighs> Shadow <Shut up. laughs> Now I have the upper hand and a free dollar. <laughs> Check again. Impossible! Sorry, bud, but that's my dollar. What, are you gonna kill me if I try to take it? Yep, that would be the plan. Well, how are you planning on killing me in a dream? Oh, it was just a dream. That's my dollar. <laughs> Go ahead and introduce yourself. My name is Michael with a B, and I've been afraid of insects my stop, entire Stop, stop, stop. Where? Hmm? Where's the B? There's a B? Hey, you think you're going to sleep now? Yes, that was the idea. It's like you forgot how this works. You realize a random cat on the internet will most likely be more successful than you will ever be. How do you handcuff someone who only has one arm? Remember when you accidentally said I love you to your teacher in front of the whole class? You remember? You remember that? Yeah, I do! Oh my gosh, is that a person? That thing is definitely here to kill us. What? Oh no, it's just a coat on a hanger. Mommy told me never to lie, so I will be honest. You're the ugliest person I've ever met. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you look for in a man? 
I don't know. I like a man who's more unkept, maybe facial hair. Oh, yeah, I definitely feel that. Most of the guys I've dated have had, like, red hair, so I guess that's kind of a trend. For sure, for sure. You have to be athletic. It's a huge thing for me. Absolutely, absolutely. Completely agree. But I'm pretty independent. I'm not really looking for anything right now. Absolutely, absolutely. Hey, honey, welcome home. Have you been eating well in college? Good, good. Have you been eating your vegetables, though? Okay, good. Speaking of vegetables, your father's in a coma. Hey mom, do you need any help with the dishes? No, it's fine, I got it. Okay. You know what, no one ever helps me this house. If I wasn't here, nothing would get done. How's it making sense? I fucking asked you if you needed help! Bro, bro, you're not gonna believe it, I just won the lottery. Oh, oh my god, how much? One billion dollars. Here, come look at this. <gasps> oh, Jesus! I, I can't see. What? I can't feel my legs. You gotta help me, man. Hello, are you there? Hey, you gotta help me. Hey, hey, what are you doing? What is that? You need to just take my ticket, right? You wouldn't do that. You wouldn't do that to me. You, you need to just take my ticket, right? I trust you. You're my best friend. You wouldn't do that. You wouldn't do that to me. You, 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 you wouldn't do that. I'm John Quinones. From What Would You Do? I swear to God, steal one more of my cooking utensils, we're done. Our relationship is over. <laughs> well, that's a whisk I'm willing to do. If someone sent me photos of their feet, did I just get footage? If my dad said he loves me, then why did he leave? And now it's your turn. Let's see what your fortune is. Uh, that's weird. I I think this is a misprint or something. This because. Uh... This is an intervention, Jacob. Yeah, but how do you know? Mommy, guess what? I just got my first period. Honey, that's ridiculous. Boys don't get periods. Oh yeah? Well then why is there blood coming out my ass? <coughs> you know, it's probably the gerbil we put in there. The fucking what? Alright, who took my glasses? I can't even look for them because I can't see anything. On your head. Oh, that's better. There! Stop that man! So would you rather fight a gorilla or never be able to turn left? Uh, not turn left? What kind of question was that, dude? Okay, you're, <laughs> you're weird, bro. I'm gonna get some food. Hey! Hey! What have you done? Change this! Alright. Oh, thank God. Bro, how did you- Grandpa, Grandpa! What's that, Sonny? I found a nickel on the ground. Well, that's just wonderful. Remember to put it in your piggy bank. I also found a key buried in your backyard. Oh, uh, well, don't pay no mind to that key. Uh, Grandpa doesn't know anything about that. And then I found an abandoned shed that the key unlocks. Oh, uh, that, that sure is strange. And then I went in the shed, and I found a hidden door that leads underground. You shouldn't be- you shouldn't be doing that now. And then I found a shotgun, and a bunch of skeletons, and one of them had Grandma's clothes on it. I miss Grandma. Uh, me, me too. Crazy how she just, uh, disappeared like that. <laughs> and then there was one guy that looked all tired and hungry, and he begged me for help. Well, what'd you do? I shot him. Well, that's just wonderful. What's up, bro? How's it going? Uh, not doing so good. My, uh, grandma just passed away. I I'm so sorry, man. I, I didn't know. You're good, bro. You're good. Did she live a long life? Not really. She was only 69. She died yesterday at 420 p.m. <laughs> Hold up. You're laughing? <laughs> no, I'm not. Oh, so you think this is funny? <laughs> no, I don't. No, I don't. Grandpa, Grandpa. What's that, Sonny? I found a nickel on the ground. Well, that's just wonderful. Remember to put it in your piggy bank. I also found a key buried in your backyard. Oh, uh, well, don't pay no mind to that key. Uh, Grandpa doesn't know anything about that. And then I found an abandoned shed that the key unlocks. Oh, uh, that, that sure is strange. And then I went in the shed, and I found a hidden door that leads underground. You shouldn't be, you shouldn't be doing that now. And then I found a shotgun, and a bunch of skeletons, and one of them had Grandma's clothes on it. I miss Grandma. Uh, me, me too. Crazy how she just, uh, disappeared like that. <laughs> and then there was one guy that looked all tired and hungry, and he begged me for help. Well, what'd you do? I shot him. Well, that's just wonderful. So my gym crush just got here. I think I'm gonna go ask her if I can have her phone number. Um, I'm nervous, but I'm gonna go shoot my shot. So can I get, like, can, do you want, like, do you want to have my num my phone? So this kid just, like, gave me his phone? Shit, I'm not getting any service. You? Of course, damn it. No juice, phone's dead. I just smashed my phone with a hammer. Guys, my phone's a book. Right, thanks again, bye. 
You hang up first. No, you hang up first. No, you, no, 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 you hang up first. Listen, you hang up first. You hang up first. No, no, okay, ready? We're getting on the count of three, ready? One, two, three. All right, they're gonna send an ambulance. <laughs> Mom, it's grandma. Are you gonna knock the next time you just come in my room? What? That was rude. I'm sorry. Uh, let's try again. Now you can come in. Okay. Grandma's having a heart attack. Are you winning, son? I am always winning, Dad. Nani? Hello, winning. I'm Dad. My horoscope says today I'm going to get a bit of good news, but also some bad news. Horoscopes aren't real. Oh, thank God. <laughs> That's good news. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma's dead. I got only four hours of sleep last night, whereas I got 13 hours of sleep last night. What's the difference? Nothing. We're both tired. Absolutely fatigued. Well, move over, idiots, because I'm you if you got the recommended amount of eight hours of sleep. And I am exhausted. Oh, I Yeah, I don't, I don't know what to do at this point. Oh, hey, Dave, what's up? This human form is limited. Parents gonna be like, oh, you've been in your room all day. Okay? What's the problem? Am I bothering you? I don't want to deal with human interaction right now. I, what's the problem? What am I doing? And remember, kids, if anyone harasses you, you just say, stop it. I don't like it. And that's the end of that. Stop it. I don't like it. All right. Let's stop it. I don't like it. I'll see you in class tomorrow, guys. Give me all your fucking money. Give me all your fucking money now. Stop it! I don't like it! Uh, you're lucky you know that one. Not, not everyone knows that one, you know? You're lucky. Oh, Jesus, thank fuck. So, uh, who do you like? I don't know, you have to guess. Shelby? No. Riley? Mm-mm. Emma? Damn it! No! No! Are you not catching on to anything I've been saying? No, it's not. Okay! Is it me? Uh, it might be- who do, you, who do you like? I don't know, you should guess. Do you like me? Do you like me? I mean... Not really. I like Joey. Damn it! God! Ugh. Okay, uh, I don't even like you either. It was literally a dare for me to come over here. Uh, you're kind of ugly, and you're probably the reason why your parents got a divorce. Your voice is so annoying, and you're not funny at all. Why would you s Do not make any sudden movements. Do not reach for that gun on that table, because I know you're tempted. And if you comply, I will not harm you. And then I'll comply. Okay, alright. That's good. That's especially good for you, because, I mean, my aim and my reflexes are impeccable. Must have, must have been a draft. There's no windows in here. Some sort it's of not even windy out paranormal there. activity. I know you reached for the gun, man. That's not true. Who do you think you're dealing with, okay? My mom told me. My dad owns Microsoft. Your family will never... Ah! 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 Are we going to talk about what that was? I had, I had a seizure. Oh, my God. Here we go with the lies again. You didn't have a seizure, all right? I saw something behind you. Oh, come on. You couldn't even see behind me. What are you talking I about? I was just Stop lying handing you the gun. Handing me the gun? You were pulling the trigger. You, you, were, you were trying God to Arthur shoot Rice me. You were trying to hands. kill me. Why, why do I even put up with it? You're just, my like, dad so good. Hey, that last piece is mine. Look out, a murderer. What? Oh! You better watch it, buddy. Holy shit, sorry. What? Are you kidding me? Okay, this is the last straw. Anything to say for yourself? Oh, so you're the thing that grows on trees? Yes. Open up, it's the police. I'm not here. Where are you then? I'm at the library. Open this door right now. Bro. Keep your voice down, he's at the library. Hey, what's up, man? Oh, hey, buddy! <laughs> oh my god, are you okay, buddy? <laughs> oh, oh, do you need me to call 911? Buddy? <laughs> no, Curtis, don't die! I love you! Like a friend. Here's a cool little fact for you. Not only are you able to sense when somebody's staring at you, but you can also sense when they're staring at you while you're asleep. Just watch. Who are you? See, it's that easy. 
Top five worst things you can do in waking up. Part one. Coming in at number five, it's gotta be murder. This is terrible, don't do it. Hey mom, let me introduce you to my girlfriend. Hi, it's a pleasure to finally meet you. <sighs> I, you couldn't find anything better? Hey mom, leave her alone, all right? I love her. Shut the fuck up! I was talking to her. All right, and before you give me any of your wishes, I've heard it all. Don't wish for more wishes. I don't want to bring anyone back from the dead, and I can't kill anybody, okay? That's it? Those are your only rules? Why are you saying it like that? Yes, those are my only rules. No, no, no reason. No reason at all. What are you writing down? What are you doing? What's going on here? I'm just making a list of some things that I want. That's like seven things already. I told you, don't wish for more wishes. I'm not wishing for more wishes. Um, so I wish that everything on this piece of paper would come true. You son of a bitch! <laughs> Unpopular opinion. Stop telling women on the internet how beautiful they are and go say it to your wife. Hey babe, just want to let you know that uh, women on the internet are beautiful. Here's a cool little fact for you. Not only are you able to sense when somebody's staring at you, but you can also sense when they're staring at you while you're asleep. Just watch. Who are you? See, it's that easy. Oh my god, dude, I have horrible news. What's going on? What's wrong? I don't know how to tell you. Okay, just calm down and tell me. Okay, you might want to sit for this. Okay. Someone stole all our chairs! Hey, do you know what the time is? Time to get a watch. Time to get a new joke. Time to get a girlfriend. I'm working on it! My first question. Are you the killer? No. Really? Yes. Killer say what? What? Got him! We got him! Guilty! Guilty! It's time for a fun fact. Did you know that if you took every single blood vessel out of the average child and laid them all out in a straight line, you would be charged with murder and go to jail? Honey, just kill it. It's a spider. He's looking at me right now. We are making eye contact. Take your shoe off and whack it with your shoe. Honey, he can hear you. He can understand what's going on. He is hyper aware of what's going on right now. Don't be dramatic, dear. It's a spider. Stay back. Stay. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to, to scare you. Honey, just kill it. You don't understand what's going on, okay? Please, missus. Please don't kill me. British. I have 300 children and another 169 on the way. I, I'm not sure if that makes me want to kill you more or kill you less. Please don't squish me. I'm a simple spider. Are you seriously talking to the spider? You have no idea what's going on, okay? He's a... Shit. Holy shit! Honey, there's a huge spider in here. Please, mister. I have 300 children. Is it a pistol? Oh, God, me help. Help. All right, class, let's do an icebreaker. Let's go in a circle, say what you want to be when you grow up, starting with Timmy. I want to be a firefighter. I want to be a lawyer. I want to be dead like both of my parents. Okay, let's take out our books. Let's do some reading. What's up? We're just going to act like he didn't just say that? Hello? Okay, what do you want me to do? Call his parents? What happens to the music during a car crash? Does it stop or does it just... I got my driver's license last week. Hey, good morning, Mom. Mom, uh, are, are you okay? Good morning, sweetie. Oh, I thought you were I thought you were mad or something. You didn't take the trash out last night. No, I didn't. Well, you're probably just tired from school. Yeah, that's true. But it's summer vacation. That is also true. We all make mistakes sometimes. Give me a hug. You're hugging a little tight, mom. But you never took the chicken out the freezer. It's time for a fun fact. Did you know that if you took every single blood vessel out of the average child and laid them all out in a straight line, you would be charged with murder and go to jail? You've recently lost someone close to you, perhaps a family member, name beginning with F. Father. Father, yes. He's here with us now. What's he saying? He wants to tell you that he's disappointed. Oh. And also, you left the stove on. Right. Hmm. How did he die? Gas explosion. Ah. Dad! What's up, buddy? There's a demon under my bed! No, there's not. Would it make you feel better if I checked? Mm -hmm. Alright. Oh, hey, Frank. Brian? What's up, dude? 
Yo, I haven't seen you since I was like 10, dude. You're still working for the big man downstairs, I see. Uh, you know me, man. Listen, you mind laying off my son up there? He's a little bit of a post post. Oh, that's kind of cute. I like that. You call him your son. Yeah, he's the mailman's kid. You didn't know that? What do you mean? Yeah, dude, I was actually there. I was waiting for your daughter to come to sleep so I could scare her. But instead, I got Mrs. Moans a lot and mailman Steve making a paper boy right above me. All right, man. All right, man. Yep, nothing there. You're good. Are you sure? Hey, Billy, you want to play Naked Twister? <laughs> One thing I hate is when people are like, do you like them? Ooh, you're blushing. You do. Like, no, you cold corn dog. I'm blushing because you're embarrassing me and making me feel uncomfortable. Gosh. Okay, but Jeremy, where's your homework, man? Shit. Um, my dog ate your homework, took my homework, and wrote all of the really bad answers on it. What? <laughs> I mean, my dog ate my homework. Uh, yeah, that's what I thought. No, Jeremy, you're a fool, bro. Seriously, only he would think of some shit. If you multiply by zero, <laughs> here's the deal. I'll reveal to you who the killer is with hard evidence if you give me full immunity. I don't know. Well, I'm your only lead. <sighs> Fine. Full immunity. You're a free man. Who's the killer? Me. Fuck! I am a genie. You have three wishes. Wow! I have the perfect wish. So this is my girlfriend and she's blind, but we've been together a long time and I just wish she could see the world. So I wish my girlfriend could see. You know what? That's a pretty good wish. Done. Wow! Well, wait, Gabe? That's what you look like? <laughs> you are not my type. Ooh, he's cute though. What's your name? Hi, I'm the genie. I'm Katie. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So what are you doing later? A father was listening to his daughter pray. God bless mommy. God bless daddy. God bless grandma. Goodbye, grandpa. Honey, why did you say goodbye, grandpa? I don't know, daddy. It just felt right. The next day, her grandpa dies, and the father just thought it was a strange coincidence. A week later, the dad was listening to his daughter pray again. God bless mommy. God bless daddy. Goodbye, grandma. The next day, the grandma died. The father started thinking, wow, my daughter must be very special. A week later, he was listening to his daughter pray again. God bless mommy. Goodbye, daddy. He started freaking out and couldn't sleep all night. He left early and went to his office. He was nervous all day and kept watching the clock. He felt safe in his office and figured if he could make it to midnight, he would be okay. Once it hit midnight, he went home. When he went home, his wife said, I've never seen you work so late. What's the matter? I had the worst day of my life. Yeah, well, my day was worse. The mailman dropped dead on our porch. My horoscope says today I'm going to get a bit of good news, but also some bad news. Horoscopes aren't real. Oh, thank God. <laughs> That's good news. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma's dead. Grandma Jean was a prankster, and I'm sure we will all fondly remember her knack for practical jokes. Well, I remember this one time. <laughs> Ew. Oh, Did you just fart on my you wife? On oh, my Did you just shit on your grandmother? I'm proud of you, son. What? No, that wasn't me. I didn't fart. Oh, Grandma, you bitch. Gun to your head, what are your last words? Yes! 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 Oh my god, yes! Finally, bitch! Finally! All right, all right, 10 more seconds. Come on, guys. If any of you come down, I'll make a personal promise to make your life hell. 10, 9, 8. Sir, did you just come down? I'm sorry, sir. I just couldn't hold it any longer. Oh, no, that's okay. We all make mistakes. Just not in my class. Now, who else wants to come down? You, sir, what's your reason for being here? Um, I don't, I don't know. I'm, so, I'm sorry, you don't what? I, I just don't know. Well, you better know soon. Oh, no, please don't shoot me. Now answer me. Why are you doing this? I really don't know, sir. Please spare me. You better come up with an answer. I really don't know. Is it your family? Maybe. I, I don't know. Is it your friend? Maybe, sir. Is it your physical well-being? It could be. Oh, what is it, son? Speak up. I want to get to 169 pounds, sir. What? 169 pounds for the memes, sir. For the what? The memes. Everyone come down. Aesthetic. <laughs> ah. Ha 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 ha
Have you guys ever heard of the happy sandwich technique? Basically, you say something good first, then you deliver the bad news in the middle, and finally finish with something positive. This way, the negative point is cushioned by the happy bread. For example, if you wanted to tell someone their parents had died in a car accident, you'd say, Hey man, what a lovely sunny day. Your parents were crushed by a truck. I really like your sweater. That way, he'd be feeling so good about the weather and his outfit, he'd almost forget about the whole parents thing. Shit, I'm not getting any service. You? Of course, damn it. No juice, phone's dead. I just smashed my phone with a hammer. Guys, my phone's a book. If your leg get cut off, would it hurt? Duh. How though? Cause your leg got cut off, fool. Where you gonna feel the pain? In your leg. Exactly, bro. How you gonna feel the pain in your leg if your, your leg, leg is, is gone? gone? All right, son, this is a lie detector. It's gonna beep every time you're not telling the truth. So I'll ask you again. Were you at school today? I already told you, Dad. Yeah, of course I was. You sure about that? Okay, okay, okay. I went and had a beer with my friends. You see, this is the kind of behavior I'm talking about. I was never drinking at your age. <laughs> well, I guess he really is your son. Honey? What the f- 2 plus 2 is 4, my ex-girlfriend is a whore, but it's cool. 10 minus 7 is 3, that was my age when my dad left me, but he'll be back. 1 plus 1 is 2, this morning I stepped in dog poo and it sucked. 5 minus 4 is 1, my mom once said you're not my son, that hurt. Uh, Bruh, you remember our third grade teacher, Miss Jackson? Uh, yeah, I remember her. Remember every beginning of the class, she'd be saying, here you go, baby, and she'd be giving us candy. I remember them days. She was so sweet. But remember how she'd be helping us on all the tests and everybody in the classroom passed? That's the reason why I passed third grade. She was so helpful. And, uh, remember every time at the end of school, if we didn't have a ride, she always takes us home, but on our way home, we'd be getting McDonald's. Ooh, I remember that. She was so, boy, she was like a mother to me. Boy, I love her. But guess what, though? What? She did. Why you had to do all that? The fuck is that? Well, that, that there's some muscle milk, cow. Ooh! Jesus! Oh! Look at the size of that udder! That is no udder. I want to tell him how I feel, but I have this bad habit of always getting nervous and changing the subject. Calm yourself down, and then ask him if he wants to hang out this weekend. Okay, fine, yeah. Hey, Peyton, I have a question. Do you think your grandma suffered when she died? Feeling car sick! <laughs> I sentence you to jazz. No! Hey man, what the oh, what the hell is wrong with you? Level up. Somebody help me, I'm being robbed. I'll save you. Tree powers activate. Die potato. Hey. Get out of my sandwich. No. High five. 100. No! Stephanie, I'm at the mall and I see your boyfriend walking around with some fat bitch. Jess, what do you mean? I'm with my boyfriend right now. Shit, I'm not getting any service. You? Of course, damn it. No juice, phone's dead. I just smashed my phone with a hammer. Guys, my phone's a book. Sorry, your stepsister's not going to make it. Oh god no, I meant she's not going to make it to this meeting. Oh right, of course lol, because she's dead. Mommy, I drew a picture of our family. Oh, wow. Good job. I'll hang it on the fridge for Daddy to see when he's home from work. Hey, Jake. Congrats on your sister being pregnant. Where, where is she? <laughs> yeah, thanks. Um, she's just in the toilet. Oh, okay. No worries. Um, any idea what she's having? I mean, not really. She's been in there for a while, so she's probably taken a sh- I think you'll like it here, you know. The teachers are nice, but the principal? Complete idiot. Do you know who I am? Uh, no? The principal's son. Oh, well, uh, do you know who I am? <laughs> no. Good. <laughs> okay, class, listen up. Today, we are going to be talking about the fitness grand. Hey, hey, dude, dude. What? What? So, yesterday, I just woke up with the ability to read anyone's mind. <laughs> no way, dude. What? I swear. Just watch, watch, watch. Uh, look, Jacob over there. Watch this. Penis, men, gay sex, balls, guys, wrestling, soccer. <clears throat> okay, well, that was no surprise. Um, uh, who, who wants? Who wants? Let's see. Ah, uh, what about that quiet kid? Ah, uh, yeah, Richard, Richard. Run, run. Two plus two is four.
four. My ex-girlfriend is a whore, but it's cool. Ten minus seven is three. That was my age when my dad left me, but he'll be back. One plus one is two. This morning, I stepped in dog poo, and it sucked. Five minus four is one. My mom once said, you're not my son. That hurt. Uh... What episode are you on now? I'm on episode two. Oh, that's not so bad. In season five. But you just started yesterday. Yes. Mom, today the kids at school were bullying me. Oh, sweetie, what? Who? Why? Because I made a card for a girl I like and- Ew, what? Simp? Simp? <gasps> You're grounded. Oh. What's wrong? It's gone. What is? My tarantula. Okay, was it in the jar when we left the house? Well, yeah, I was just feeding it. Doris, find the spider. Paul, I'm trying. Doris? Don't stress me, sweetie. Uh, where were you feeding it? On the sea. I have a phobia for spiders, you know this. Paul, just calm down. Oh, God, oh, man. Look under your seat. Oh, Look under God. daddy's seat. Oh, man. It did, it's not there. Oh, Sweet, does it have God. a name? What can we call oh, it? Man. Oh, God. Fred, oh, okay, man. Fred. Fred, oh, Fred. Give me God. Fred. Oh, man, oh, God, oh, Fred. man. We finally found Fred, and we managed to put him back in the jar with chopsticks, which is how I was able to bring him here to show everyone today. Oh. Okay, class, today we're going to be playing Two Truths and a Lie. It's pretty self-explanatory. You're just going to say two things about yourself that are true and one that's not. Oh, can I, can I go first? Oh, Brooke, you're really excited. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Okay, uh, these are just off the top of my head. Um, I really like strawberries. My dad picked up crack like three years ago. It drove him insane. It tore our family apart. Then he got the death penalty for killing like a bunch of people. And uh, my birthday's in May. <laughs> oh. Um. Is, is the second one a lie? My birthday's in July. Everybody down. This is a stick up. Hey boss, this old lady isn't getting down. Take her out. But boss, she's just an old lady. I said take her out. I'm having a wonderful time. Sir, what about this kid? Take him out. Wee. Boss, what about this baby? Take him out. I'm the baby. So I ask you this, Your Honor. Why did the chicken cross the road? To get to the other side. <laughs> but that doesn't quite add up. Why would the chicken need to cross the road? It has no motive. Unless... The chicken is the killer. <gasps> Top six ways to tell your friend you're in love with them. Number one, take him for a drive. This way the setting is just you and him and the intimacy is at an all-time high. What's... Ask him to create something with you, whether it's a video, a TikTok, a song, any sort of creative thing will get the juices flowing. I don't, I don't, what, what's... Number five, when the scene is set, it's time to make your move. Just go for it. Put all the balls on the table and just go for it. Hey, whoa, hey, Max, what are you, hey? And just like that, you're in love. Because it worked. Because it worked. All right, who took my glasses? I can't even look for them because I can't see anything. On your head. Oh. That's better. There! Stop that man! Come on, man. Who drunk the last of my Hawaiian punch? I knew something was gonna happen to this. That's why I pissed in it. Something wrong, Gary? <laughs> All right, you get three wishes, but there's three rules. No bringing anybody back from the dead, no making anybody fall in love with you, and I can't kill nobody. I wish spiders had wings. There's four rules. Hey, hey, dad dyed his hair, but dad's bald, his arm hair. Oh, and, and mom's leaving him. Go out with his college buddies tonight. He hasn't seen them in ages. Okay. Oh, and, and your ex-girlfriend texted me. What? She's been missing for six years. Well, they found her. Dead. Oh, and I nearly forgot. I'm going to jail tomorrow. Oh, sorry. To visit Uncle Bob. Oh. Yeah, they're giving him the lethal injection on Monday. What? What? Why? Do you not remember? You replaced all the water in the house with poison. <laughs> that only kicks in when you spit it out. <laughs> Seven times. What episode are you on now? I'm on episode two. Oh, that's not so bad. In season five. But you just started yesterday. Yes. Hey, yo, you think we killed everybody? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we did. I don't know. What about this one? Shit, he looked dead to me. We gotta make sure he is. Hey, tickle his feet, cuz. What? Tickle his feet. Are you serious right now? No, I'm serious, bro. Just tickle his feet. Trust me. All right, man. <laughs> he 
he alive. No, wait, he, hey, wait, shoot wait, his ass. You know what be cute? You and Craig. I mean, that shit sound kind of good. Ew, me and Craig? Hell no. Oh yeah, that shit's stupid. That shit nasty. Here's a cool little fact for you. Not only are you able to sense when somebody's staring at you, but you can also sense when they're staring at you while you're asleep. Just watch. Who are you? See, it's that easy. Here's a cool little fact for you. Not only are you able to sense when somebody's staring at you, but you can also sense when they're staring at you while you're asleep. Just watch. Who are you? See, it's that easy. Please let me into heaven. And why should I do that? Because of what... Candace said. C Candace? Who's Candace? W what do you mean, Candace? Candace, dip in your mouth! It was a pretty good totally one. Totally worth it. I'm sorry, but your father's no longer with us. Oh no, he's at a different hospital. Oh, thank God. I don't know how much longer he has. What? In the hospital. They're gonna move him to a different one. Oh, okay. He's super ill. What do you mean? Like he's dope. Like he's like super chill. Oh, for sure. Yeah, he's super cool. Yeah, he's gonna die. 911, hello, I think my friend just died. Okay, I understand. First things first, make sure he's dead, okay? Okay, I got it. <laughs> okay, now what? What the fuck? If you have 10 apples and I take 4, how many do you have left? 4? If you have 10 apples and I take 4, how many do you have left? 4? <laughs> <laughs> so what do you look for in a man? I don't know. I like a man who's more uncapped, maybe facial hair. Oh yeah, I definitely feel that. Most of the guys I've dated have had like red hair so i guess that's kind of a trend for sure for sure you have to be athletic it's a huge thing for me absolutely absolutely completely agree but i'm pretty independent i'm not really looking for anything right now absolutely absolutely thanks for watching the kids ma da i appreciate it my pleasure oh and i saw on the television today that there's a man with a mustache running around flashing people so keep an eye out really here well not in this city but you never know okay goodbye ma don't trust anyone with a mustache Hello, my little tortellinis, how are you? I have to go to the bathroom. All right, go ahead. <laughs> Not right here, go to the bathroom. Okay. So what's with you two? I am in love with your beautiful intellectual granddaughter. Oh, wow. Well. well, I don't know about intellectual because she just tried to shit her pants right here, but that's adorable. What about you? I am in love with an older woman. Oh, I've been there. Back in high school, my first love was a senior and I was a junior, but I was too chicken to say anything, so take Nona's advice and go for it. Okay, I will. Good. You got a picture of her? Ba! Let's see ya, huh? Oh dear God, I retract my statement. Where's my wife? Oh, there's my wife. Where's my keys? Oh, there's my keys. Okay, I'm off the wike. Where's the door? Mom, I'm scared. Oh, honey, ghosts aren't real. Oh, okay. Ha ha! That's how you open a door. What do we want? Death! When do we want it? Hey guys, sorry I'm late. Hey, Mom, let me introduce you to my girlfriend. Hi, it's a pleasure to finally meet you. <sighs> I, you couldn't find anything better? Hey, Mom, leave her alone, all right? I love her. Shut the fuck up! I was talking to her. Hey Siri, how do you say seal in French? Fuck. Fuck. This is a cute baby fuck with his ugly motherfucker. Girlfriend hasn't talked to me in three fucking days because she's mad that I hooked up with her identical twin. They're identical twins. And I told her that, I'm like, babe, how am I supposed to tell the difference? And then she brings up the argument saying, oh, well, uh, he has a penis. So I was like, shut the fuck. We got 155, 160, 160, 165, 165, 165, we got 165, 155, 155, 155, 155, 155, 155, 155, 155, 155, 155, 155, 155, 155, 155, 155, 100. That's the number of times I had intercourse with your mother. Yeah, what the hell? When did he say that? Another 50. 150 dollars. 737249. Those are the US nuclear launch codes. I used to work at Area 51. This is true. Hey, yo, what? Why would he do that? Why would he do that? We eat 
easily attain the information. Anybody could have done that. All right, that's my time. Thank you guys so much for showing up. Oh, and by the way, you, yes, you, recording this? Yeah, I stole your car. Yeah, your dumbass left it unlocked with the keys in it. No, no, no! Oh, oh, call an ambulance! Call an ambulance! But not for me. No! 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 What's up, Riley? How are you? I'm okay. Cool. Your mom there? No. Oh. Is Bex babysitting you? Maybe I should stop over and say hey. Nope. Bex isn't babysitting or I can't come over? Both. Then who's babysitting you? No one. What? Oh, my car's in the shop. I gotta call the cops. Stay on the line. Okay. Gunshots? What the hell is going on? What is this? It's Skeleton Bone? I'm also Chief Deputy. We have reports of child abandonment. What? I was taking a nap and my kid was watching Frozen on an iPad. My iPad died and I got bored. You said this. I am so sorry. Don't you hate it when you have a girlfriend and she has a twin sister? So you get confused and you fuck her dad. Go up to your dad right now and see if you can name three of your friends. Hey dad, name three of my friends. He's not coming back. I know. And I don't think you have three friends. Mom! Mama, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Son, don't say that. We're not gonna let this COVID take you away, alright? You, you will have to fight. Please fight for me. Okay, mama. All right, I'll fight for you. Thank you. What's this I hear about you missing 81 days of school? Uh-uh, don't die. Don't die. Don't. Okay, sir, you are here for the daycare job. Uh, first question. Okay. <clears throat> Do you like kids? I love them. Okay, that's enough questions. Um, you can you can leave now and, and we'll give you a call. Mama, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Son, don't say that. We're not gonna let this COVID take you away, all right? You, you, you will have to fight. Please fight for me. Okay, mama. All right, I'll fight for you. Thank you. What's this I hear about you missing 81 days of school? Uh-uh, don't die, don't die, don't- Oh my God, dude, I, I have horrible news. What's going on, what's wrong? I don't know how to tell you. Okay, just calm down and tell me. Okay, you might want to sit for this. Okay. Someone stole all our chairs! Hey, do you know what the time is? Time to get a watch. Time to get a new joke. Time to get a girlfriend. I'm WORKING ON IT! My first question. Are you the killer? No. Really? Yes. Killer say what? What? Got him! We got him! Guilty! Guilty! I will fucking destroy your bloodline! You fucking bitch! <laughs> so, what's your zodiac sign? <laughs> well, I'll give you three guesses. Oh, <laughs> that's so something a cancer would say. Not a cancer, but... Keep guessing. Uh, really? You really seem like a cancer to me. Uh, nope. I just said I'm, I'm, I'm not a cancer. Uh, are you sure you're not a cancer? No, I was born in January. Are, are you trying to tell me something? You have cancer. You want to know my zodiac sign? Hey guys, welcome to our All You Can Eat Buffet. Now remember, children under the age of eight do eat for free, so... Oh, oh, it's a perfect. Okay, my son also is a uh, seven. What? Dad, I'm 23. Yes, sir, your son is clearly an adult Asian man. My son is a seven. Okay, ask him. Ask him if he's a seven. Okay, um, are you seven? <sighs> yeah, yep, yeah, I'm, I'm seven. <laughs> he free, okay? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah. fuck, fuck the job. Officer, please, I need your help. Hi, sir, what's the emergency? My son has gone missing. Okay, sir, what's his name? Sir? Hello, sir. Sir, what's his name? Sir, I need to know your son. Shut up, I'm thinking. Hi, I'm here for the job interview. Perfect, take a seat. Here's the situation. The police just entered the building, so we'll be in this room in about 30 seconds. So this is a one-time only job offer. See him? That's Bob. Bob's a piece of shit. That right, Bob. <laughs> F you, Bob. Why is he tied up? We don't have time for you to talk. Bob is our accountant. Bob is also my brother-in-law. He cheated on my sister, so he'll do whatever I tell him to. Here, Bob, draw a penis on your face. Bob also embezzled a million dollars from the government last year in tax fraud, vis-a-vis -vis cops downstairs. 
Now the thing is, I need Bob. I need Bob bad. I can blackmail him to do whatever I want, so I want to keep Bob around, but I still need a fall guy. Ignore them. Eyes, right here. Here's the job. You take the fall, you go to jail for a year. Cushy jail though, not murder jail. You play tennis, do therapy, get real good at chess, and at the end of one year, you're let out and we pay you $500,000. You got five seconds to choose. Five, four, um, three, two, I'll do it. one, bingo. He's in here. <laughs> Did he say yes? We got a new employee. I like your initiative, kid. Welcome to Chick-fil-A. How long do I have, doctor? A month at best. But on the bright side, you're lucky that you have these moments. Little Jimmy here is going to die in three days. You think you're f***ing better than me? Think you can beat me? Watch. F he's flying! Hello, I'm calling from room 252 and I'd like to order a sandwich. Hello, I'm calling from... Okay, I can do this. I can do this. I'm a sandwich. So your mother tells me you're afraid of heights? No, I'm afraid of highs. What? Hello? Ah! Hey, can you open this can for me? Oh yeah, for sure. Thank I you. I could open that can for you, but I think what I'd rather do is teach you how to open it. Because give a man a fish, he eats for a day, but teach a man how to fish, he eats for life. Yeah, okay, Martin, you've been having depression, right? Uh... Yeah? Uh, you see, I, I could give you antidepressants, uh, but I think what I'd rather do is knock you out with my baseball bat. Oh. Then I'm gonna use my pizza cutter to cut open your skull. Oh, and with your brains all exposed, I will surgically remove your amygdala, the portion of your brain that lets you feel emotions. That way, you will never feel depressed again. And that's an operation that I'm very capable of performing. Okay. Okay, can I... Open that can for you now. Who that? Piece of delivery. Oh, nice. That has been 20 years. Oh, shit. Damn. But if all the ugly people in the world were killed, okay? I just woke up and I already got motherfuckers wishing on my death. What the hell did I do to you? Can I just be ugly in peace? Damn! Have you seen the baby? No, I think he got outside. You fool. No! No! That be- ah! I am depressed. Suddenly, pineapples. This does not help. No! Susie! Don't walk in the road! Look, Mom! I made it! I am a Stegosaurus! Invisible Billy Adventures! Hey, Billy! Catch the Frisbee! B Billy? Peanut butter? Thanks. Wait, aren't you allergic to peanuts? No. <laughs> you're allergic to peanuts. Any last words? I'm pretty sure you're allergic to peanuts. Oh, you know what it is? We're both allergic to peanuts. Oh! <laughs> I'm gonna go to bed early. I'm not gonna stay up doing random things. I'm gonna go to bed early. Alright, Simp Nation, that is it for today's video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. If you made it this far, you already know. Go ahead and smash that like button. Uh, hit it real nice and good for me. Come on. Hit it. I'm waiting. You just watched my entire 10 minute video. And you're not going to hit the like button. Tyler. Tyler Martin. Hit the like button. Impossible. We have your family, Tyler. <gasps> yeah, yeah. We snatched them in the middle of the night while you were sleeping, Tyler. Oh, that's not true. You never noticed. Mom! Now hit the like button. <laughs> Imagine if there's actually someone named Tyler Martin watching this right now. That would be crazy. All right, guys, uh, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed This is Ike. I will find you. This is not Ike. Do you ever get the feeling we're being watched? Yeah. That guy. Hmm. How can we tell for sure? The binoculars? Oh, of course. Yeah, he's definitely watching us. Yeah, they're definitely watching me. Hey, you must be the new guy. My name's Tom Richardson. Oh, nice to meet you, Tom. Bend over. Excuse me? Bend over. Listen, buddy, I don't just bend over for people I just met, okay? I don't even know your name. Bend over. You stay away from me, man, okay? You all f 
you up, man. Yeah. You don't know me. You don't know him like I know. You don't know what I've been through. Yeah, he's been through it. I grew up with nothing. He had nothing then. He got nothing now. Yo, chill, chill. Hey, listen. Shut I, up. I don't take shit from no from one. From no one. You haven't seen what I seen. You ain't seen nothing yet. Yeah, and He's my best friend. I don't know about all that. Besties for life. I've only known you for two weeks. Best two weeks of my life. This is getting weird, man. So, do you want me to park your car? I left my wife for you. Hey, Dad, I just got a five-head shot kill streak. Oh, wow. I'm proud of you, little man. Good job. Thanks, Dad. So you're going to let your child play those types of video games? Yeah, so? Aren't they a little too violent? Yeah, but it's not that big of a deal. I'm not going to let my child grow up as a prude. Hey, Dad, I just found a cool sword and I started chopping people's heads off. That's awesome, little man. Keep it up. Don't you think that's going to, like, mess them up in the future? That's a myth. There's absolutely no connection between violent kids and violent video games. Hey, Dad, I joined the cult. Hey, hey what? Now I'm harvesting the blood of our firstborn children to please our masters. Uh, okay, what game is that? Hey, hey stop bro. It's just a stupid video game. Hey Dad, now I'm a ruthless dictator. I just convinced my army to commit mass genocide and discover new ways to torture our victims. Uh, okay, little man, it's time for bed. No more video games for the night. Hey Dad, I couldn't go to sleep, but I remember staring into my victims' eyes and watching their soul leave their body. And I don't have insomnia. Are you proud of me, Dad? Dad, are you proud of me? Dad, are you are you proud? Did you know that it's a scientific fact that whenever a girl talks to a guy she likes, her voice gets higher in pitch? No wonder every girl I talk to sounds like fucking Batman.